Sports. Well, for the first time in nearly a decade, Arthur is back. Mark Brown has captured the hearts of both young and old with his children's series, Arthur, since 1976. The series focused on Arthur, the art of art, going through situations that young kids often face. Our own Becky Anderson sits down with Brown to talk about his newest book, Arthur Turns Green, in this week's edition of Authors Revealed. It's Authors Revealed and I'm Becky Anderson. Let's sing happy birthday. Arthur's 35 years old and Mark Brown is here with his next Arthur adventure. It's Arthur Turns Green. So Arthur's, he's been eight years old for 35 years. Good trick, huh? I know. <laughs> and you look great too, I tell you. <laughs> Thank you. But how, how, how is it that he, you mm -hmm. keep him so eight years old and it keeps rolling? Um, all the things that Arthur goes through. I know. And, and I don't know how you do it. But well, kids want to know yeah. when they get older. Yeah. And yeah. when my son went into third grade, I was kind of writing for him, mm -hmm. my first child. And the, Arthur started out in kindergarten. The second book was second grade, mm -hmm. then third grade. And then he went on to chapter books. And I thought, wow, am I going to go on to chapter books too? Yeah. And then I thought, all right, what would I write about? And my title was A Day at Hormone Junior High. <laughs> I thought that would be interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but I decided not to write that book, and I decided to stay with Arthur and to freeze him as a third grader. Because that's a pretty interesting it point is. in one's life. It, it really is, and I think when kids look back, it's a, it's a year you really remember. And it was the year, oddly yeah. enough, when my whole life was cast, and I didn't understand it at the time, but all of the characters that became characters in my book were friends I knew in third grade. Mm -hmm. and. And I show kids uh, today when I spoke to them at schools a picture of my third grade class and I point out all these real people oh. and they see that oh, they love that. <laughs> it's that. Yeah. so much fun. Well, you put you put your like your grandmother is yeah. always with grandma, grandma Thora. Thora and your principal is, um, is in my sisters oh, turned sisters. into DW. Oh, yeah. Boy, they three triple. of them into one. That's oh. well, they no were wonder. Trouble. No wonder she's she's yeah. the character she is. <laughs> she is. So so now that Arthur's 35 years old. And I know this is happening, but you must be seeing kids whose parents were Arthur. I am. I, What's that like? <laughs> well, at first it was a little creepy. <laughs> yeah, I can but imagine. I kind of, I'm excited when I meet people and they remember a visit that I made to their school uh, fondly. Uh, sure. I, I, the last visit I, to Chicago, mm -hmm. I think I met two or three journalists who interviewed me and I had talked at their school about writing, and they said, and they remembered that, and it see? made an impression on them. See, but see, that's, and, that's the kind of thing that those kind of visits and stuff, you have done something that kids will remember their whole life. And I guess. obviously it made an influence on them yeah. if they're journalists now, right? Yeah. Yes. Just talking about writing and the whole process of, yeah. of books. And yeah. sharing your yeah. enthusiasm for what you do with someone else. Right. That's right. a powerful thing. Oh, it's terribly powerful. What fun we've had talking with Mark Brown. It's Arthur's 35th birthday. He's here with his newest book. It's called Arthur Turns Green. Back to you, Dolly.